Hi, I'm Salman Nafis and I make videos about making your videos awesome. I want to thank each one of you for your support which has helped me reach 1500 subscribers in almost 2 weeks. This thing has motivated me even more to take more time out to create quality tutorials for you. This video is about text tracking. So in the first part of the video, we're going to be learning how to track text or logos to a specific point in your footage. And in the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how to create this cool soft glow effect on your text. So let's jump in. So we're going to be working on this clip today. And this clip is already created. Uh, I have done some corrections on it. And because I want the same corrections to be done on the text as well, that's why I'm not going to create a compound clip. And I'm directly going to go to Fusion. So this is Fusion. This is the media in that's coming in. And this is something that's going out to the timeline. Now you can notice that the grade that we have already done is not being shown over here. And that's all right because the text that we're going to be adding, I want that text to be graded with the footage so that it's baked in properly and it looks a part of the footage. So let's turn on a single view monitor in this viewer and let's add in a tracker. So I'm just going to select media in and I'm going to press shift spacebar and type in tracker in the node search tool and just add the tracker. Now we have the tracker and let's find a point. So this is the area that it is going to track so i think this can be a good point to track this has a good contrast and the area outside is the area where the tracker is going to search for the point that you have selected now let's go to the first frame and adjust the tracker again and let's go to inspector if this inspector is turned off you can turn it on by clicking here and simply go to the track forward from current time option. So we have got the tracking data and you can see these keyframes over here that are the tracking markers. And now for adding the text, I'll simply go here and drag this node. This is the text node. And I can select the output and connect it to the green triangle here in the tracker. So this green triangle is representing the foreground and this yellow triangle is actually the background that's coming into the tracker. So because we want to paste the text in the foreground, I'm just going to connect it to the green input of the tracker. So now let's select text and let's type in text tracking. Now we're not able to see the text, we'll simply go to the tracker and in the operations tab just go to the match move option and the merge option is already selected to foreground our background and that's what we need and i'm simply going to select text again to change the size of it this little marker would allow us to change the position of the text so let's say we want to track it to this position and let's go with something like this and we have got the text track now let's go back to the edit page and here in the edit page we can see that the text is also being colored with the footage so we've got a good track let's go back to fusion and now let's say you want to add a logo with the text so i'm simply going to come here to the tracker press command c click over here command V and I've made a copy of the tracker. Now I'm just going to delete this link and I'm going to connect it to the yellow input of tracker 2 and the output to the media out. Right now we've got another tracker, the same tracker and we can simply go to the finder and import a logo. So let's import this resolve logo. Let's rename it. And now I'm going to connect the output to the green input of the tracker. That is the foreground. So now we have the logo. Now the thing with this is that we're not able to drag this logo to the position that we want. So for that we'll need to add a transform node in between. So I'll just select logo and press shift spacebar. And type in transform. And just add the transform. Now by clicking the transform node I can actually 
do the sizing thing and I can actually drag it to the position where I want it to be. And now both the things are being dragged with the text. Let's go back to the edit page and play it forward. So now the text and the logo are being dragged properly. Let's go back to Fusion and to add a more realistic feel, let's add the motion blur to it. So I'll simply click the tracker over here, go to settings and I will enable motion blur. And I will go to the other tracker and go to settings and select motion blur. So this now is going to add the motion blur that is happening in the footage to this text and logo. Now let's add the neon type soft glow to the text. For that, I'm just going to delete the logo and everything that was attached to it. And I'm just going to select text, shift spacebar, and I'm going to type in soft glow. So if I click the soft glow and go to the inspector, and let's turn off this red channel. And this is already giving me a very good color. And you can also play around with the color over here in the color scale. Uh, but for this example, I think this looks good. So let's change the settings a little bit. Let's bring it to about eight. Bring the gain down. And let's increase the glow size. But I want to increase the horizontal glow size. So for that, I'm just going to uncheck this lock XY and I'm going to increase the X size to around 85. So you're able to see this horizontal glow that is with the text. And you can also play around with all different settings here in the inspector to see what fits best for your text. So let's make it realistic and select soft glow and press shift spacebar and type in blur. So I'm going to go with this blur. And I'm going to just reduce the strength to somewhere where it's more believable, right? If you turn this on and off, you can see that the blur is actually making it look more real. And a quick tip here about enabling and disabling nodes in Fusion. So if you click this soft glow and I press command P, it's going to pass through this node. So that means that this node is disabled now. If I press command P again, it's going to enable it. So this way, it's much easier to see what you're doing. So let's say we want to animate the glowing effect. So I'm simply going to click soft glow and go to the blend option. This is my opacity over here for the node. Let's reduce it to somewhere 0.2. Put in a keyframe, move two frames, bring it to one. Move another frame, bring it down. That's how you achieve this text glowing effect. Now let's say you just wanted the text and you didn't want the background or the person that is tracked with it. For that, I'll just simply going to delete this media in and I'm going to bring in the background, a background node. I'm just going to connect the background to the background input of the tracker. And I'm simply going to select background and go to the alpha and reduce the opacity to zero. Now, if I go back to the edit page, all we see is a text and that too dragged with the original footage that we have. So now let's add in something else. Let's say we add the same footage underneath. And if we now play it, we can see that we have the same tracking data and the text that we have is in the separate layer and the video is in separate layer. So this is how you add soft glow and track text in your footage. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.